Okay, in these next series of videos, we're going to talk about getting options data through the Market XLS platform uh, using our data provider, Quote Media. Now, with Quote Media, uh, it's a simple process uh, to actually subscribe through the platform to get your uh, login credentials, your username and password after you decide uh, which data subscriptions uh, that you want to upgrade to on a real-time basis. Uh, this first video is basically an introduction to that process and how you set it up. And just as a basic introduction, just want to mention that um, when you subscribe to Quote Media's data, uh, there's all kinds of great things that you're able to do uh, with the Market XLS platform. Uh, I think the, the the biggest value here is, you know, if you're a trader, investor, analyst, and you've worked on many different uh, types of trading platforms or institutional platforms, usually when you go to get your data, let's say you're going to look at an options chain or uh, something like that, uh, usually the data is structured the way the platform's been programmed to do. The beautiful thing about Market XLS is because you're in a spreadsheet environment, this is really a canvas environment, so you can actually move the different data points into the columns or rows that you want. So when you pull up the data through the functions and you've set up templates or sheets in a certain way and then you save them, it'll always be saved that way so you can actually look at the data the way that you want to look at the data. You know, um, at, at best, some of these other trading platforms, you can delete or add columns of data, but you can't really move it around into the areas that you want that may be below, above, side by side, other data points. Um, again, it's only at the programming of the, the trading platform that you're using, you're kind of limited to the way that they structure the data for you. But that's not the case here with Market XLS. Now also with Market XLS, uh, good value here is uh, we have end of day and intraday history of options pricing data. Now, I'm not aware that that's really available on uh, other platforms. So when you're trying to do some analysis, say on a particular stock option chain, uh, but you want to kind of see the history of how the closing prices have been. Sure, you can maybe do it on a chart, but you can't get the actual data points and then do, say, individual calculations uh, or manipulation of that data the way that you want to, like you can here with Market XLS. So that's a great value. Of course, you can get uh, the real-time data stream, which we'll cover in another video. Uh, and then getting the option chain is basically a one-click process or using individual functions, which we'll go over in um, the next uh, set of videos uh, individually. Uh, but that's basically the introduction here uh, to Quote Media on what's available for options data. But here in this first video, I just want to kind of go through the setup process to actually upgrade uh, to uh, the real-time data from Quote Media. So it's real easy. Um, once you've installed Market XLS, over on the right, you have your uh, settings button. And you just hit that and hit the drop down. Uh, hit settings and this window here will pop up now um, in the middle tab is where you get your data subscriptions uh, we have a couple other providers but quote media is our main provider uh, of where the options data comes from um, so basically when you get to this tab here um, you're going to hit this button here to get your subscription. And that'll take you to a page that allows you to choose the various um, uh, uh, packages that they have. Uh, after you've subscribed to get the package that you want, you'll get sent a username and password, and then you'll enter it here in these two fields. And then after uh, you've set that up, if you just want to test the connection real quick, just hit the test connection button and then it'll tell you that you succeeded and everything's all set and then you're able to uh, run wild with all the kinds of uh, ways to pull in this data. 
So that's this first video to basically introduce you to uh, the different uh, things that you can do with the data uh, as a summary. And these next series of videos, we're going to walk through uh, the individual uh, items. Uh, again, uh, this is all provided from marketxls.com. Uh, feel free to visit the website and you get many uh, samples and blog posts and um, check out our pricing data for uh, the platform. Uh, that ends this first video. Uh, we'll move on next to pulling up an option chain.